Oh, hello. Brian Summers here, creative director of Spirits and Mixology here at Jonathan Club. And today we are going to learn about the Sour Family. This is one of the most important families of cocktails. Most cocktails actually fall into this family. Uh, some heavy hitters that you've, I'm sure you've heard of would be the Margarita, Sidecar, Tom Collins, Daiquiri, Gimlet. They all fall into this family. And what makes this cocktail family so special is the relationship between sweetness and acidity. You cannot have one without the other and call your cocktail balance. And this is actually really what separates uh, the people that, in the industry that really know what they're doing from the ones that don't. There are people using all kinds of gorgeous garnishes and all kinds of esoteric ingredients and then they miss this one fundamental truth. If the acidity and the sweetness is not balanced, it is all for naught. So let's start here, and from here, you can plug and play so many different spirit categories, different sweeteners, different types of acids, lemon juice, lime juice. You can do so much from here. You can muddle some fruit. You can spank an herb and throw that into the tin and shake it up and have that herb be infused with your cocktail. The possibilities are truly limitless, and that's why this cocktail family encompasses most of the drinks that we know and enjoy. So let's learn the right way. It's all about balance. Let's get it started. So I'm going to make two versions, or two cocktails, that fall in this category. We're going to make one with lemon juice, and we're going to make one with lime juice. Uh, and I'm going to teach you how they balance against a classic cocktail syrup. Today we're going to use simple syrup. Please stay tuned, we're going to show a video of how to make some of these classic syrups. So you guys' syrup game is on point at, at home. So let's get it started. So we're going to start on the left. We are going to make a daiquiri. And believe it or not, anything you've seen in the blender that calls itself a daiquiri is, uh, has nothing to do with a daiquiri to be honest. A daiquiri is a very simple and gorgeous, complex, and spirit, spirit forward drink. We start. One ounce of lime, juice, of lime juice. And to balance against one ounce of lime juice, this is, this is important, it is three quarter ounces of simple syrup. That relationship right there, one ounce lime, three quarter simple, we're talking ounces, is a very important thing to remember because if you know that, you can plug that into many a thing. Right? And to make it a daiquiri, we're going to use rum. We're going to use some cremo, which is from the Martinique Islands. And we're going to measure out two ounces. One ounce. And two ounces. And that's it. We're going to shake this up nice and good, but we'll get there in a second. Let's make the second one. Next up, we're going to make a bourbon sour. Now, in a very traditional sense, we would add egg whites to this, but we're going to skip that for today. This is going to be a little bit more bare bones. Again, the thing I want you to take away is three quarter ounces of lemon juice balances against three quarter ounces of simple syrup. Ergo, equal parts lemon juice and simple syrup. Whereas with lime juice, it is four parts lime, three parts simple or sweetener. That make sense? Measure out some bourbon. We're getting fancy here. We're going to use a little bit of uh, William LaRue Weller Special Reserve. For my whiskey geeks here watching this, I'm sure you guys are salivating at this alone. And that's the beauty of these cocktails. Yes, they're three ingredients. Yes, they're simple. But when you're using fresh citrus and high quality spirits, they are absolutely just a triumph of, of beauty, complexity, and nuance. Next step is shaking these bad boys up. Now the shake matters, right? We got citrus in here. We want to agitate it, we want to aerate it. We don't just want to make it cold and mix the ingredients. So we're going to use some ice. We're going to shake it very, very hard. We're going to get it very, very cold. Hopefully, very, very aerated and agitated because this is going to make the drink really pop and make uh, a very beautiful cohesion of all these ingredients. 
very, very perceivable to you guys. So let's give this a shake. We'll taste in just a minute. Cheers. Do it. My tins are nice and frosty. If you get a tight shot here, look at all that foam. That means there is sufficient air in the cocktail. I want us to look at air as its own ingredient in this drink. Air is our friend when it comes to the sour family. Strain these bad boys out through a Hawthorne strainer. And we are in business. These look gorgeous. See that? Beautiful layer of fine bubbles sitting on the top. That is a barometer that we shook this well and that it's going to taste delicious. But there's only one way to find out. First we nose. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> the simple things in life, guys. That's what it's all about. Happy drinking at home. Cheers.